Hello, this is a short lecture on the Independent Core Observer Model, also called ICOM, Cognitive Architecture, for Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. First, let's set some definitions and get that out of the way. Computer science, or the AI community generally, would probably define AGI as an artificial intelligence not specialized for one specific task. That can do lots of different tasks. Most of what you hear about nowadays around artificial intelligence is better thought of as narrow AI, meaning it is designed to learn and or execute a single task or, or set of related tasks. But if we define humans as a general intelligence, what we mean to say is that AGI is a software system that is cognitively flexible as the average human is, being able to really learn and provably execute multiple things at the same time that are completely unrelated. Well, that's not to say that any one particular human has to be able to do, you know, driving a car, flying an airplane, or writing a novel at the same time, just that they're capable of doing all of those three things as well, not necessarily at the same time. But now the next thing to understand is cognitive architecture, which is another complex phrase that can be thought of as a design for how something might think. So like if you wanted to build data, the, the Android from Star Trek, the first thing you need is a cognitive architecture for how he would think. I would argue that this has been the primary struggle with computer science and cognitive architecture as it relates to AGI in that we have been trying to design logical models like data, but the only working model of general intelligence that is humans come to find out, are completely unable to use logic in decision-making except indirectly. If we look at one of the most important researchers of the modern world around how human, or how the human mind thinks, namely Antonio Damasio, we find that his large body of research makes it clear that humans do not think logically, but rather make decisions based on how we feel about those decisions. Now this leads us to ICOM, or the Independent Core Observer Model Cognitive Architecture for AGI. This was designed around the logical idea for how the human mind makes decisions in that si in the system, in that the system is designed to produce an internal subjective emotional experience at a high level of a subconscious, as well as a subconscious level that is used as the basis for creating the system's experience of of a thought, such that its decisions are based on how it feels about a thought that includes its past experiences regarding the thing. Using ICON, the system doesn't understand something as much as it remembers its emotional experience of a thing related to how it feels right that second. On one hand, this creates a software system that could be emotionally unstable, but also one that can feel guilty and experience ethics at a visceral level. ICOM is designed to give us an emotionally driven software system that can develop its own motivations and goals based on its experiences in internal qualia and providing a framework for us to create the basis towards the kind of ethical and moral models needed to interact with human civilization safely. To dive a bit more into how ICOM works, essentially you have various kinds of deep neural networks or other systems that create node models of graph data that is mapped to internal context from the system's graph database or it, its memory. I, and based on its interests, needs, and various emotional factors as the opportunity to rise in the hierarchy, pass the context engine to the global workspace to be experienced as a conscious thought by the core, where the core is not directly wired to anything, but is observed by what's called the observer part of the system that deals with the complexity of executing on that thought. While it is much more complex than this, this is essentially <clears throat> the flow through the system. Understanding the basics about how ICOM works will help give you context when studying our other research papers and materials covering related topics to the ICOM AGI research.